man, cleaning this <laughs> took a long time. You'd think that since it's like a small place, it wouldn't take as long, but it took a long time. Now that the apartment is clean, now I can do an apartment tour because let's be real, it's probably not gonna be this clean ever again. All right, Gideon, you wanna go open up the door? All right, welcome. We are hopefully moving in a few months. I figured it's time to do an apartment tour. So let's go in. Come on in. This is what you get when you walk in. You have the entryway. And then this was from a friend, this was from a friend, and then we picked this up when we were in Sweden. That's the entryway closet, pretty much just our coats and our boots are in there. We come in here and we're in. Then we're in the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen, which, you know, standard kitchen. I feel like it's a very apartment-sized kitchen, but we found ways to make it nice and usable. So we got this, which is from Ikea, which has been the biggest lifesaver ever. It doubles the prep space. Right here, it's a cutting board. And now you can put it over here, you have extra prep space. So this has definitely been the most important purchase that we've made for the kitchen. You've got a crew member who's turning on and off the lights. <laughs> yeah, that's Gideon if you can't tell. Let's see. What are you doing? So, so you got the diffuser going. We got some lemon oil diffusing to make it smell nice and clean in here. Although it already smells a lot like pine salt because we've been doing a lot of cleaning. But basically, I'm pretty surprised how well we've managed with like the amount of counter space and cupboard space. It's been really difficult the past two years, but but I'm so thankful that I'm moving on to a bigger space. This has been very nice. It taught me to learn to work with small with the small space, but now bigger space ahead. We only keep out now I remember why we moved to our schools. Basically, we only keep out the very essential. So we got the coffee maker and the hot water heater, and then our knives, our bread. We do have a dishwasher, which was one of my non-negotiables. We needed to have a dishwasher, and we needed to have an in-unit washer and dryer. Those were the two things that we had to have. We don't normally keep the towels like this because they always get caught in here. So I put this little hook here, and it has been such a lifesaver because all the towels and stuff from Ikea have little hooks meant specifically for this, so that's been great. That's basically it for the kitchen. My husband picked this up. It's Wild Sage. White Sage. White Sage yep. from outside. Everything that won't fit in our cupboards goes up there. We also have more in the storage unit, but thankfully we won't need to have our storage unit anymore because everything's going to fit in the house. So we're moving to a house. Yay! Super exciting. This used to be Gideon's high chair space, but then we moved it over by the table. But this is kind of like the planning center of everything. I wasn't thinking and I did it where little fingers could reach it, so that didn't last very long. On to the living room. Wow, we're already in the living room. <laughs> this is the perks of a small apartment. My husband built this fireplace. It's super nice. We're making a fireplace, Gideon. It's gonna be a fake one, but it's gonna be amazing. Um, is that our table that That's just... <sighs> we use it even in the summer. Just flip on a switch and voila! Ta -da! This is Gideon's little cubby. All of these are full of his toys and books. And then this one's kind of stuff he's not supposed to get into. It's kind of tucked away. He still gets into it. Gideon! Apartment. 
we moved from a four bedroom house to a two bedroom apartment. We had to be very picky and choosy about what actually came to the apartment. These are from my travels in Sweden and this is from our travels in Budapest. As you can see, we also don't have a dining table in here, but wait, we do. This is our dining table. Both sides fold out to make like a full table, which is really, really nice. You can fit like six people around it. This is kind of a random table that we don't want to get rid of, but we don't really have room for it right here. So it just sits here. We have our air conditioning unit, which is really nice. We have two in this apartment. This was originally my filming backdrop. I am trying to turn this blank wall into something that I can use as a filming backdrop. I got these Beckvim shelves from Ikea and they're actually spice racks. Measuring it out. Here's my new background. Thank you, Simeon. I think I filmed one video with this setup. We wanted to make it part of our decor, so it could be a filming backdrop. I would stand right here and film my videos, but then also we wanted it to be something that could still function if I wasn't filming. And then we move on to where I spend a lot of my time, which is the office. I'm so excited because in our new place, I'm gonna have walls and a door and I can close the door. But this has been very nice because I'm able to sit here and see everything, be connected to everything. I've been eyeing this desk from Ikea for a long time, but I, I didn't buy it because we wanted to get it shipped to us, but this thing would have cost more to ship to us than it actually was to buy. Found this on Facebook Marketplace for half the price, pretty much a brand new desk. It was perfect. I wanted originally two set of drawers, but it just came with one and then legs for this side. When we were at Ikea, as we were going to the checkout, you can pass by like the as is. Sivian so found this and it's amazing because it is what I wanted, but it was just a little too expensive. And then we go to like the clearance at the end and find this. And so that was the best find ever because it was less than half price. And yeah, this nice little piece of decor, which was a gift from our wedding. And it was from a friend and she had it made from Africa and Centaur. And then we move into the nursery, but now it's the toddler's room. Gideon, no. Here is our toddler's room. He gets his yes, own room, which is amazing. He was in our room for the first year, and now for the second year, he's been in his own room. And I think we've all enjoyed that. We got a ceiling fan installed, which we're really happy about because the air conditioning unit's over there, so you don't get air in here. So it gets pretty hot. So we put in our own air conditioning unit and we also had this installed. So it makes it nice and cool. It has its own heating unit, which is super nice. This is our decor. My husband made these um, by hand. This was a gift from Gideon's aunt. It's a ship in Sweden. These are from his wedding. His wedding? Our wedding. <laughs> My husband's dad made this and he made a bunch of them. They're actually candle holders. And then this is all of the stuff that Gideon isn't supposed to be touching. We have our little reindeer boots. I picked these up at a thrift store in Sweden. You can tell that they've actually been worn. Reindeer boots, right? Uh, I don't know what they're made out of exactly, but they're Sami yeah. style. They're very Scandinavian, Oops. traditionally Scandinavian. This is my husband's painting of a place that we visited in Michigan. Um, I had my painting up there, but it does not even come close, so we took it down. Okay, Gideon. Okay. Can we tell that it's getting close for <laughs> close <laughs> to dinner time and close to bedtime? <laughs> here because it's a space saver. We don't actually spend that much time in this room because wherever we are, he is, and we usually spend most of our time out there in the living room. This was originally going to double as his bedroom and like my filming space because it has the best light. But in order to do that, I would have had to either put up a backdrop here or move the couch every time I wanted to film and that just didn't. <laughs> That just didn't happen. Also, you wouldn't be able to film during nap times. Yeah, and during nap times, it's pretty much the only time I can film, so <laughs> it wouldn't have worked out. But that's why I'm so excited that we're gonna have, a, we're moving to a three bedroom house. Ah! So I have an extra room for an office. And then we basically have the closet, which I organized about a year ago. 
but it kind of got away from me. So this is our catch-all, but we'll close that for now. What are you doing? You going to bed? Okay, night night, Gideon. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go out. Wee! Okay, you go lay down. I don't wanna. I don't want him to crawl out. I'll pick you up. All right, let's go. Let's go show him our room. Yeah, this is our room. When it comes to decor, this room kind of got left out. We didn't know how long we were gonna be in this apartment. It was only supposed to be a temporary place, but it ended up being two years. So I guess that's temporary or not temporary, depending on how you look at it. We'll just say that we're minimalist when it comes to the decor here. We got this from a secondhand store. Um, so this has been our vanity and our mirror. We have our air purifier slash fan. Yeah, and our bed. Okay. You're silly. And then we go into our closet. Oh, one more thing. I absolutely love like the triple windows. It just makes the space feel so bright. We don't get direct sunlight in here until the evening. So this place just feels huge and the light feels amazing. Then we go into our closet, which is, you know, just kind of like a normal closet. Um, it's a pass through into the bathroom. But it's really nice that it is a walk-in closet. And this is my side, this is my husband's side. I have like five pieces that I like to wear over and over again. And other than that, I don't really wear a ton. This is, to me, a really good size. And then we pass through into our one and only bathroom. Having one bathroom has been not a problem with us, but now we're starting to get to like, okay, two bathrooms would be nice. So the next place has two bathrooms. Basically your typical bathroom. I guess the only thing that I would change would be more storage. So this is the only bathroom storage. And I guess we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and all of our stuff does not fit in here. But this has been very good for now. We're happy with the apartment, but I think we're just finally outgrowing it. Um, just with three of us and a little toddler wanting to run around all the time. This is the apartment because then we're back into the entryway. And the best part. If you've seen my pantry video, like what to stock up for an emergency, you have seen this already, but I'll show you it now. We have our own washer and dryer in here. This was a non-negotiable for me because we do laundry so often with a little kid, especially when he was a lot younger. Um, we're doing a load at least once a day and I do not want to go all the way to the laundromat or all the way to the other side of the building and then pay more quarters on top of that. No. This is a non-negotiable. Like we do have to pay more because these are in here, but worth it. And then we also have our pantry. I don't know if the place we're moving into has a pantry or not or if it's just covered, but it does have a big laundry room that we can use as a pantry like we are now. We'll be able to bring our deep freezer out of storage and we will get to use it. This is probably the best part. One more place is our balcony. Here is our balcony and this is where we have our water table. And I really feel for our downstairs neighbor, but she's never out on her balcony and I don't even know if she's home half the time. Like a lot of people that live in this building only live here part time. So I don't know if she lives here full time or not. I never see her. Um, some people just live here during the school year and then leave. But here are, here's our little garden. This is a rose bush. That's a mini evergreen tree. And that was lavender, but it's gone now. No, it's actually come back. Oh. And there's basil, green onions, and dill in there. Mop in the corner. Oh yeah, we did just mop today too. Cause we cleaned out everything. We wiped the baseboard, everything. Gideon loves to play with this little water table. He loves water. That's why I feel for our downstairs neighbor. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back. Put you in a cup away. That concludes this tour. I've been keeping a mental list of all the things that I don't want to take for granted when we move into a house. And one of them is the fact that we can just walk outside and be in our own yard. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I don't want to take that for granted. I don't want to take for granted the ability to go into an office and close the door and have my own space. We're gonna have a finished basement 
So we'll have a place, like a big playroom downstairs for Gideon. I'm really excited that we're gonna be able to put something in a place and leave it there. As you can see, this one likes to climb a lot and he's very good at it. So we have to put things higher and higher, but we've ran out of we've run out of space to put things. So basically we have a top of the fireplace and up there is the only place that he can't reach, but he has reached things on top of the fireplace and he's also climbed up and got stuff up here too. As you can see in a lot of my videos and pictures, the chair is like this. And that is because he uses the chair to wheel it around and climb up onto things or he'll climb up on here. I think just for his sake, I'm going to be so glad that he's going to have a place to run around. He's going to have a lot of space outside. I am super excited to be moving into a bigger place, but this place has been very good to us. It's in a very good location. It's very scenic. Like we have um, like a little mini forest out here, lots of trees and we're really close to a park. We live in town, a few minutes drive away from pretty much anything in town. And so that's been so, so nice. And also the apartment building complex is new. It was just built a couple of years ago. We did have like these luxuries like the dishwasher and the in-unit washer and dryer. So that's been really nice. It does heat up and cool down quickly. So our energy bill is super minimal. I'm looking forward to more space, but also I do want to acknowledge that this has been a very good place for us for the last two years. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it will be an empty apartment tour, meaning that we're moving. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.